Hey, I'm Wesley Brooke, and I've just finished my studies of my marketing and entrepreneurship degree at Curtin University. This reflective video is about my personal and professional development during my time at uni, and also during my time in enhancing your business mind. Enjoy. So unfortunately, I only did one employability tool. And from this image, you can see what my scores were and my chart. I'm pretty similar in the areas of basic literacy, rhetorical literacy, and personal and critical literacy. As you can see, I show a level of understanding and strengths in those respective areas. However, from the chart, you could see I'm particularly weak in the areas of occupational literacy. And this is because, I'll be honest, I don't actually have a plan A. I'm always thinking about what my plan B and C and D is. And, and because of that, I haven't figured out what a solid plan A is in my life. However, uh, as you can see, my strengths is my emotional literacy, my uh, ethical, cultural, and social literacy too. This is because of my background and my upbringing. Um, I'm quite an emotional person and I'm very aware of how my actions affect others. Um, and I'm also a people person. I love being around people and being part of a team. And most importantly, I understand that everybody deserves a chance to be understood. So in enhancing your business mind, the unit has actually taught me a lot, but more importantly, it showed me how the real world works. Every other unit is theory based, but enhancing your business mind involves a lot of practicality. And that's something I really liked. And Carla was exceptional in helping us understand how things really were. And her perspective was extremely useful. The unit helped me understand the areas of unconscious bias and ethics and business sustainability. I'm more of an emotional understanding person and it was quite interesting to see how these two topics engage in the emotional and psychological side of the business world. I would say the unit also made me aware of the fact that although I have a lot of time to decide on what I want to do in life, I actually do need to start considering my pathways and I need to put things in place to help me in the future. If I put things in place now, it'll help me later on when I have a bit more clarity. Essentially, it's time for me to put my foot in the door in some parts of my career. You know, I wouldn't say I made any new friends in my class, but I would say I definitely strengthened my relationship with Holly. We knew each other outside of uni, but being in the same class, we were able to engage in deeper conversations with each other about particular topics. And I really value that because I feel like I developed my ability to connect with others better and to be able to talk about my career and my professional life. If I was to take any lessons into the workplace, it would be to be confident and trust in my own abilities. Often I think about how I wouldn't actually feel confident taking on a marketing job right now. But the lesson I've learned in this unit is I need to be real. I need to focus on showing potential employers who I am and what I'm prepared to do. I know I can't do the job on my own right now, but I work hard and I have a serious willingness to learn and I need to let potential employers know that. Alrighty, here I am actually at Curtin, out the front. Um, so to start my Curtin story, I, I really just went to Curtin out of school to get my degree like most people would. But for the first year and a half of my degree, I just kind of went with the time but the last year and a half of my degree is where I really started to apply myself. I think I reached a point in my life where I decided I needed to embrace what was being offered to me more. And at that point in time, it was my education. From that point onwards, I actually surprised myself as I, I realized what was being taught was genuinely interesting to me. Obviously, there was some stuff that didn't engage me, but at the end of it, I started enjoying my university life a lot more when I looked up and, and paid more attention. And, and from that point onwards, my grades improved and I actually am a little bit sad now knowing that I'm not going to go back to uni anytime soon and to learn some more things. So, it's all happened very quickly. So, I definitely chose the right degree. I didn't manage my time particularly well at uni. I was always handing in assignments in the last minute and really for the first year of my degree I just messed around a bit. If I didn't, I definitely would have graduated by now. Overall, I thoroughly enjoyed my time at university. You hear a lot that you don't need a university degree to succeed in life and that it isn't enjoyable. And I agree, there was definitely times I considered leaving but I'm so grateful and happy that I didn't. You know. Life is full of many challenges and one of those for me was uni, but having completed it now and done all the hard work, 
It's just made it feel so much more enjoyable. I do actually think I'll come back and study my masters. I'd love to do it, but the only thing right now is I don't know what I'd do it in. So the plan for after graduation is to go traveling. I've lined up a job in Canada and in November the plan is to go away for at least a year. Honestly, as I mentioned before in my employability tool, I haven't quite thought of what I'm going to do in my immediate future in regard to my career. I've got all these separate ideas of what would be cool and what would be nice to do, but I haven't actually set anything in stone yet. What I have thought of though is during my time overseas, I'm going to try and experience as much as I can, including the work that I'm going to do. During uni, I studied a unit called entrepreneurship and that in that unit, it showed me the concepts of previous knowledge and experience. And pretty much what it said was entrepreneurs of all successes have a level of previous knowledge. And a lot of those people got it from working overseas, um, being in different settings, help them gain new experiences that probably aren't here in Australia. And what I want to gain from going overseas is I want to embrace different places and different cultures. So hopefully I could develop my own previous knowledge. So I have a few industries in mind that I'd like to work in, but I don't have one in particular. And what uni and enhancing your business mind has shown me is that I should try and look for a work placement somewhere because that might help me decide what industry I want to be in. However, as you know, I'm leaving, so after I graduate and before I leave, I'm going to genuinely have a real look around to see if there's work placements, and hopefully there is. So, time for the emotional part, a message to myself. Uh, if I had to say something to myself in five years, this is what it would be. Wes, be yourself. You are so uniquely you, the only person you need to prove yourself to is you. Whatever stage of your career in, whatever stage of your life you're in, enjoy it. But carry on working hard, so a year from now or five years from now, you'll look back and be proud of what you've done. Life is short, man. Embrace it. And grow with the people around you who you love. There are many things I'd implement from my time at Curtin. If I had to take one thing though, it would be don't stop discovering and continue learning. Because where's Deep down, you do love finding out how this weird and fascinating world works. In conclusion, my strengths is the ability to connect with others and be a part of a team. It's time for me to put things in place and be honest with myself about my career. I valued my time at Curtin, but I know my learning doesn't stop now. I need to embrace the experiences of a post-university life, especially while traveling. And lastly, Wes, you should be proud of what you've accomplished while studying but the next journey is only just beginning. Enjoy it. So in the end, thank you so much for having me, Curtin. Goodbye. For now. Whee! <laughs>